Hey guys, it's Kay, of course. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, it's actually a special video because we are celebrating my first wig anniversary. So congratulations to them. And thank you for sending me over this nice wig. So here we have the packaging and these are what came with the wig. So we have a wig cap and we also have a little goodie bag, which includes some hair clips and like a comb. So on to this wig, as you can see, it is very much natural, just like my face, you guys. And let's get into it because I want to show you that you can still wear this wig and still slay looking natural, okay? That's how good this wig looks like. No filters needed, no extra makeup needed, even though I am going to beat my face, as you can see in the beginning. But you can give both looks. Like, it's still going to work either way. Trust me. So hopping into construction, this is the construction of the wig and it does come with two combs in the front, a comb in the back with the adjustable straps and a built-in elastic band that you can adjust. This is also a glueless wig and it comes with a pre-cut lace. It's also pre-bleached. Well, it has bleached knots. What am I talking about? <laughs> and it's also pre-plucked. This is also a 13 by 6 lace wig, so that means you have free parting. This did come, at first I thought it was a middle part, but it's actually a side part as you can see. So you can part it on the side or you can part it in the middle. I opted for a middle part just because I love middle parts. It just works for me, even though, I mean, nothing's wrong with a side part, but a middle part is kind of like my go-to. Now, I can't remember the length of this wig. I think it's 20 inches, but if I'm wrong, all the details to this wig will be listed below. And the name of this wig is SPE085, and that's basically their ombre brown straight wig. And this is a silky texture. I'm not sure if they have it in a yaggy texture, but this is a silky texture. And it's just basically an ombre color from a dark root down to a brown color, which is really nice and suitable for all skin tones. As you can see, I am going in with my got to be glue and I'm going to tack this lace down just because it's just given. And anytime a wig is given, I just want to wear it for, you know, for longer than I normally do. So I am tacking down the lace, but you can wear this wig glueless and make sure you get your correct uh, cap size. My cap size is a size small. They do offer a medium and large cap size if I'm not mistaken, but just make sure that it fits so that you can wear it glueless. And if you do have a smaller size head like myself, the small cap size fit really nice. And after I'm finished tacking down my lace, this is what the wig looks like pulled up. And as you can see, the lace blended in so seamlessly. And now I just moved the part from the side to the middle. And I'm taking my wand curler just to flatten it out a bit. And I will say the quality of this wig is A1. But when it comes to my first wig, they always deliver. Like, you're going to get what you pay for, for sure. Like, the wigs last super long, and it's just good quality hair. The construction, everything about their wigs, they never fail you. So I am going in with some concealer, and I added that to my part just because I'm wearing a black stocking cap. And usually when I wear black stocking caps, you can't really see the part that well. So that's what I did, but look y'all, this wig is looking sleek, okay? Sleek. So I did decide to go in and cut layers because I do want to curl this wig. I don't think that I want to wear it straight, so I am going to cut layers in it. And no, I'm not a professional. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like I've been doing it long enough where I could just add out and, you know, map out how I think it should look and it always turns out good for the most part if you do decide to cut layers in it just make sure you don't overcut because this hair is not really that full it's more so a natural density so you're not going to really get full voluminous cur uh, curls from this wig 
For my curls, I'm using my Baby Bliss. Baby Bliss? Oh my God. Baby Bliss or Baby Bliss? Huh, I can't remember, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm using the Burl Curler to add some curls into this wig. And I already did one side off camera just to eliminate some time. And I'm going to do the other side on camera. So that's what I'm doing right now. And you'll see how the layers really give this wig some motion. And I did not add any products in this hair except for my spritz. Um, just to tame the flyaways, but that's about it. Like I didn't add any, what is it called? Heat protectant or anything like that. Feel free to add heat protectant before you curl your hair, but usually I don't. So I didn't, and I'm so disrespectful for not shaving my underarms, y'all. I swear I got in the shower and totally forgot to shave, but you know, it is what it is, whatever. But can we appreciate this bottom lip? Because girl, it's hanging, okay? It's hanging. That thing is like a duck lip. But anyway, the curls come out so pretty, y'all. I definitely love it. But I do wish that this wig was a bit more fuller in density but I feel like by me cutting the layers and then curling it it worked out so here we have it natural to beat okay either way honey either way because you know sometimes you feel like you have to wear makeup with a wig because it just makes the lace blending better and just all come together but either way, you can slay natural or be in the wig still eats, okay? And nine times out of ten, I'm wearing a wig with no makeup. So just because of this video, you know, you gotta you gotta slay. You gotta show the full potential of a wig. But this wig is stunning. And I do show you multiple hairstyles that you can achieve with this wig i really had fun with this wig because i just was styling my little behind off y'all but this wig eating i love the way the curls came out i love how the lace looks um i love everything about this wig i love the fit because sometimes i be having like some extra space in the back of my wigs where i have to tack it down because it just is not hugging my head the way I want it to but look at this so I did do like a little pony and this is one of my go-to styles I love putting my wigs into a ponytail and having the front out it just looks so good like if we can name this style it would be K because it's just me and I did add like some little clips but honey, I had to put my outfit on for the day and it looks so good. And now I'm just showing you, it did come with lace in the back. And if you was to tack down the lace, it would fit so good and look really, really good. But look at that hairline, y'all. No baby hairs needed. Nothing. Nothing. I do like the bun, but I like the ponytail better. You guys let me know what you think. And this is just all pulled back so y'all can really get into this hairline again without baby hair, y'all. Yes, really natural. I love it. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. You guys let me know what you think in my comment section down below. And if you guys are interested in this wig, be sure to check below in my description box for details and links and I will catch y'all in my next video.